Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's daily astrology reading for March 9th, 2024 is the waning crescent moody moon in dreamy Pisces. Messenger Mercury goes into direct Aries. The self-focused sun in dreamy Pisces is sextile, the planet of innovation, Uranus in foundational Taurus. Action taker Mars in humanitarian Aquarius is square, innovative Uranus in foundational Taurus. Our independent streak can be causing some problems for those with control issues. If you don't want arguments, Temper that directness to something conducive to the group dynamic. We want to take some kind of action for the good of the many. And we're hitting into a foundation who says people need to be more independent. We should encourage that. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for March 9th, 2024 is Perthro. Perthro, the letter P, the meaning vessel or cup. It's association, change, hidden information, truths, and secrets. Today, your focus is about seeking out the truth or information that is hidden behind the veil so you can make the required changes from an educated place. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for March 9th, 2024 is Codependency. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. This card answers your question in perhaps a surprising way because addictions are the culprit behind the issues you're attempting to resolve. This could be your own craving for substance or unhealthy behavior, or it could be that your partner's addictions are impacting your love life. This card is also an indicator of a childhood experience in an addictive family. Addictions numb the heart to pain, but they also diminish its capacity to love. Since love is the basis of your romantic partnerships, addictions become a barrier to moving forward towards true emotional intimacy. This is especially true if you are twisting yourself into knots to please a person whose dependency has lessened his or her own capacity for happiness. That no one situation will negatively affect your self-esteem and your own happiness if you continue. Fortunately, lots of support is available worldwide in the form of 12-step meetings and other addiction support fellowship models. Whether it is you or your romantic partner who has the addiction, you can find free groups near you through internet searches or by contacting a local community health center. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for March 9th, 2024 is Whispers of Spring. Card 51, Whispers of Spring. Growth. Dig in the dirt today. In the spring, the world comes alive again with a rebirth of color, sensation, and sunlight. Not even the spring rains can keep our spirits dampened. It is a favorite time for the fairy folk. There is so much for them to do. It is a time when they are busy helping nurture new plants and young creatures. Spring is about growth. Visualize yourself on a bright spring day. Just breathe in deeply all of the fresh smells. Feel how clean the air is and how crisp with just the right touch of warmth. Smell the new blossoms that are blooming all around you. Feel the freedom of going outside without a jacket or shoes if you choose. In spring, there is a sense that anything is possible. There is no shortage of hope. Bring spring into your life whenever you need it. 
If you have chosen this card, it is a good omen of hope and positive growth. What may have been stagnant now takes on fresh momentum. You are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Life is new and abundant and you are ready to start again. Have confidence in yourself and your destiny. You are on the right track. At this time, you may be starting a new project, job, or study. Enjoy the journey. Your chant, I breathe the essence of spring into my body. I am energized and made ready for the next step of my journey. I am filled with hope and I trust in my good. All is right in my world. So be it. Today's Daily Starseed Oracle card for March 9th, 2024 is called, called, Soul Gifts and Training. It's time to step up. You came to earth with a double mission to grow as a soul and to bring a shift in consciousness. The best way to fulfill these personal and collective purposes is to trust what it is that your soul is calling you towards. For it is encoded within the most direct path forward. Your soul has many unique gifts that it came here to share. Some you may already be aware of. Others you are just beginning to uncover. You're being called to remember that your soul intelligently chose the perfect conditions to carry out your soul's mission and share your soul's gifts. If you are being called towards a creative project, a passion, or an adventure, this is your confirmation that you are facing the right way and that this moment right here is destined. If you're feeling underprepared or thinking, who am I to do this? This card is guiding you to step up and leap and consider perhaps that your soul has been training for this moment right here for lifetimes. Your star seed activation, place your hand on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. I call forth the soul gifts and soul training that I've received throughout all my lifetimes. I'm ready to embody them now without hesitation or fear. I fully commit to being here now. I'm ready to step into my soul's highest and most potent calling. I've been training for this for lifetimes. Your Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for March 9th, 2024 is Duality. Card 36, Duality. Many meanings, misunderstandings. The disciple priestess Magdalena sits at the entrance to a cave, a place of retreat. The skull on her lap indicates her spiritual side, whereas for the open book represents her scholarly and educated side. Her red dress and white sash beneath her are symbols of the divine feminine and divine masculine combined. Your life is also full of dualities. You are at the same time masculine and feminine, physical and ethereal, fully human and fully divine. This card encourages you to explore all these true yet diverse aspects of yourself. It may feel strange to dive into a new spiritual practice if you've always been physically oriented. An active masculine approach to life may feel unnatural if you've been traditionally in a more reflective and feminine mode. But these deeper layers of yourself now long to be expressed. In opening up to these experiences, you will tap into important, previously unknown strengths and talents and widen the scope of your spiritual, your personal, or even your professional life. 
Finally, there is a message of warning in this card regarding distorted perceptions. Magdalena, or Mary Magdalene, has been historically misunderstood. Called a prostitute when she was actually an educated landowner. Be conscious of the ways you may be misunderstood and be courageous in your intention to live your own life and stand in your truth. Also, be aware of any misunderstandings you carry about yourself. Any limiting or judgmental notions must be set aside. A clear understanding of your truth requires you to embrace your divine nature, the most gracious and yet powerful part of your many-faceted, sparkling identity. Your affirmation, I am willing to explore the many wonderful sides of my nature. I'm open to understanding the depths of my truth and expressing that to others. Your daily energy reading for March 9th, 2024 is the astrology is telling you that an institution would like you to be more independent. Perthro says there is something here you just aren't grasping. Try again. The Romance Oracle wants you to know there is a red flag on the play. Codependency foul has been committed. The fairies want you to remember it's hope, love, and pixie dust. Don't give up just yet. The Starseed Oracle asks that you remember you have a mission here to work on. The Priestess of Light Oracle reminds you that you are a multi-dimensional being, which is very true. You exist on many different planes of existence all at the same time. Science would be happy to talk to you about the multiverse. Uh, so would Marvel, in case that's more your uh, playing field. Either is fine. I personally am in it. I'm, I like... Uh, I like the term meek, a nerd geek, because GERD is a disease I suffer from that I take medicine. And I don't suffer from both liking science and maths and all of the sci-fi, fantasy, comic book, Star Wars or Star Trek. No, both. And Doctor Who, while you're at it. Plus, give me some of that Marvel. And who doesn't love some Disney? What do you mean I got to pick between Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Why can't I just have it all? And luckily, with today's streaming services, I can. So it's not a problem for me. Somebody would like you to be more independent. There's some codependency. And if it's not you then you would like someone else to be more independent because codependency is happening. There is something about what is expected of either you or your expectations for someone else that just particularly aren't clear. What exactly is it that you are looking for or that they are looking for? Because apparently there's a reason to have hope. And you are, you do have this mission to complete. But that's what the anchoring in the light into this world, which looks like different things for different people. And you are a multidimensional being. You don't actually need to check in with more than creator. People on this plane of existence, when they ask someone to help them with something or they've hired someone to do a job, they mostly just want you to do it without them having to tell you to do it. Maybe that's what you're not grasping, is that you're meant to be able to work independently of other humans. The only person you're supposed to be having that back and forth conversation with is creator. And since you are a multidimensional being and you do have a mission that is from him 
And it does have a lot to do with that hope, love, and pixie dust. Maybe you should focus in a little bit more on that one connection, the multidimensional connection, so you can be more independent on this earthly plane.